everyone thanks for stopping by welcome to the channel i'm g and this is g's nail spot if you are new here you are very welcome come on in take a look at what we're doing today and if you are one of my wonderful subscribers thank you from the bottom of my heart your support means everything and the support for the channel means i can carry on doing funky little videos like this which is today a little mini sheen haul um, I say mini because there's, there is there's still a fair few things, but it's probably not as big as ones I've done in the past because um, I went on specifically for a few nail art things, but I also wanted to get a few Halloween decks, um, which I'm not going to in, in, include in this video um, because um, not everybody wants to see Halloween decorations. Um, but I will go through all the nail art bits and pieces that I bought now. These nails are my colour changing nails, which I am super happy with. I've had this colour changing polish for a year now because I think I bought it in the sales last year after Halloween and never got around to using it. And now I have. Um, so these ones that you can see the pink and green are glow in the dark and they are usually black when I'm cold, but I've managed to warm my hands up for this video so you can see the patterns. But there will be a video with how I did these um, and it will probably be next week. Um, depending on when I upload this, I think I'll do it the week after, I think. Yes. So look out for next week's video and you can see these. Anyway, on with the show. So in the Sheen haul this time, I got mainly stamping plates. I can't remember why. I went mad on stamping plates. I only went on for some Halloween stamping plates because I saw Hayley over at the little nail room. It's her fault. This whole video is because of her. <laughs> I'm, I'm relenting all responsibility for buying Sheen stuff onto Hayley. It's her fault. She, she bought some nice stuff. I saw it and then I just forgot how to add all and just went and bought it. So... It, the main reason was to get the Halloween stamping plates, but I ended up buying quite a few other stamping plates, including some Christmas ones, because I've got some Christmas orders coming in already, um, and a few other Halloween bits and pieces, because I've still got loads of Halloween nails that I plan to do. So let me show you the stamping plates to start off with, because there is a fair few. And the ones that I'm talking about, and I've already used one, is, so it's these, they come in a pack of three, and it was... This was the one I've used on these nails, actually. So you can see those bats and this little castle on my thumb. There's the castle and there's the bats. So I just couldn't wait to get that one used. It literally, as soon as it arrived, I was doing these nails. So there's that one and then these two as well, which are really cool. Got some really, they've got the cute characters. And again, Hayley did a really good set using these um, stamps here. So go and check out her cute Halloween nails. She does some real banger nail sets honestly they're amazing um and then this one which is pretty cool lots of spider webs and stuff on there so yeah loads of cool stuff to use for halloween nails on those three again these sets are like what one pound fifty i think it's ridiculous how cheap they are and they do work like i say work really well i was surprised when i first bought sheen nail paints but there you go so there's the halloween ones i then bought this little set they do all come um in little wrappers i've just took them all off to make this video a bit quicker so i think this was like a sea life set so there's this one i can't see it with the, very well with the blue one i know but it's all sort of ocean themed so you've got shells and seahorses and this one's got palm trees and leaves sort of islandy stuff on that one uh, similar thing, cocktails, woohoo, cocktails, so holiday vibes with a mermaid there. And then this one's steamed up for some reason, it's not that warm. Um, dolphins, waves, some more sort of islandy stuff, mountains, all sorts on that one. So that was a set of four, like I said, I think it was like ocean theme. I can't remember what it was called, but something like that. And then there was this set, cheers, I didn't realize a set of six and these are all christmas like i say i've already had some orders that i need to get ready for christmas so i'm thinking these might come in really handy so you've got these patterns some little mittens i love xmas do you know what bit of a pet hate of mine that i hate referring to it as xmas i know we don't really want to talk about the c word right now <laughs> but I don't know. I, I just I hate when people shorten it to Xmas. 
it's just one of them weird things that I've got. Uh, loads of snowflakes on this one. Uh, most wonderful time of the year, little snowman. But yeah, a ton. Oh, really, Rudolph. A ton of snowflakes on that. It's always handy if you've not got the steadiest hand to draw them. I know they're not te terribly difficult to draw snowflakes. Oh, look. Look who that is. <laughs> Hello, Olaf. Some cool lettering, some baubles, more snowflakes on that one. Uh, some like sweater patterns, wintry stuff, little Christmas charms, some wording. What else we got? More wording, nice little reindeer. Some cute little characters on this one. That's that one. And then... Again, more Christmas wording, snowflakes, spells, all that jazz. So all that December-y jazz on that one. So that's quite a good little set. There's six plates there. Bargain, again, I think they were probably like £3 or something. Then there's a few sort of single plates that I bought. This one is like a marble, so you can use it for marble uh, effect. Let me try and move my light a bit, don't I? it up very well um and also look there's a circle stamp on this one because one of my uh <laughs> weaknesses is drawing circles on nails oh my goodness it drives me around the bend honestly trying to draw a circle it's 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 crazy when i tried to draw a circle on my dot strange nails oh my goodness i was there forever trying to get it right so finally got a plate where i could just stamp a circle on and have have done with it but this is mainly for these marble effects because I don't know why but I seem to struggle with marble as well and I think it's because marble is quite a messy kind of effect technique to do so you've got to be quite you know just let it go and do the technique whereas oh gosh my so the perfectionist no CD in me just struggles with that to just do a messy mess so this is hopefully going to help me do some marble marble stuff and then I got this one because again, I do like flames on nails. They do look really cool. I just thought again, these might speed up the process when I have to do big sets with flames on. So I could use it as a template and then go over it again like I did in the rock and bike festival nails that I did. Um, it's nice to have a template if you're not 100% confident in your freehand. It's always nice to have a little bit of help. And then another kind of snakey plate. I bought a snakey plate before from Sheen, which I really, really loved. And then I saw this one because it's got like all different insects and stuff. So everything from butterflies, scorpions, snakes, beetles, spiders. Huge snake here. Um, big spider web there, which I love. I really like to use that. Hopefully you can see that. Um, but another cool plate, very sort of reptilian, insecty. Love it. Two different spiders as well now, which I really like. Oh, Halloween one stayed behind. Uh, and I think that's it. That's that's it for the stamps. So let's move the stamping plates out the way a little bit and move on to the stickers. Didn't buy huge amounts of stickers, just a couple because I really like these. And again, I think one of these now. Fun enough, these I think. Again, I saw Haley getting her sheen haul, but I'd seen these on Amazon as well. And it was crazy, the difference. So you could buy these on Amazon for £5.99 or sheen for £1. You just got to wait, wait a week. Whereas, yeah, Amazon, you can get it the next day, but you have to wait a week for these. But hello, it's worth it. You save £5. You know, a week's not that long. Like I say, it is a week as well. These, This delivery took eight days, I think it was. Yeah, eight days to arrive. Eight or nine days. So it's not that long, is it really? So I thought they were really cool as well. They're like 3D, like sticky uppy. <laughs> 3D effect, all bones and flowers and stuff. Little bitey lips. Anyway, I really like those for Halloween. And then there's these, which is so funny because on Sheen, it lists them as candle stickers. Now, I, don't, I know they do look like candles, but I think they're bones. They're finger bones, aren't they? I'm going to put them on nails as finger bones. And you've got these butterflies that where you put one on each nail, it'll look like a skull each side. So I thought they were really cool as well. Go on black nails. And then these, which you might struggle to see. Let's... I was trying to avoid taking stuff out of packaging because of how long it takes because it's deadly. 
but let's see if we can get in here. Oh, it's a... Come on, there we go. Oh, there's two. So I don't know if you can see, there's like, there we go, skeletons with flowers. So where the heads should be, <laughs> there's like just little bunches of flowers, which I thought was a bit different. All different types of skelly bones. And again, you're going to see those a lot better on black. So I hope you can quite kind of see them there. And some little writing that says wild dance. Yeah. Okay. Some skeleton hands you might just be able to see there. So yeah, apologies, they're really hard to see. But hopefully if I get them on some black nails, you'll be able to see them even better. So that's all the stickers I got. So all Halloween ones. Again, don't normally use stickers. I like decals, but... These are all kind of 3D or, or see through -y anyway, so I'm hoping they'll look really good. So embellishments, we've got some embellishments now. Here's some Halloween-y ones. They're like little metal slices. If you can see that. So copper, gold and silver in there. So there's spider webs, bats that are kind of like Batman type bats. Funny ghosts, pumpkins and witches hats and some smaller versions of the ghosts. So I thought they would look pretty cool on any colour really. On I was thinking about putting them on some orange or some um, gold or something like that. I don't know. I'll have to see. And with them being thin metal slices, I think they'll bend quite nicely to sit on the nail. So we'll see when I try those out. So again, I think they were about a pound. <laughs> As I think everything is on Jean, just about that I buy. Now, how cool is this little set? So this was just called Vintage Mix or something like that. And as you can see, it's mainly like the like the petrol slick or what I call the dark rainbow <laughs> stones. Um, but these are a green version. So they do shine different colours and there's all different sizes of them in there. But also there's some silver caviar. There's some metallic green roses which are really cool i don't know if you remember i bought some roses in the last sheen haul if you've seen it um in white and like a gunmetal didn't even know you'd get green ones so they are in here there's a crystal chainy thing but then there's some little embellishments and i'm just thinking if i get um my little tray tip them out so you can see without getting them everywhere this is where they're going to go over and i'm going to regret doing this because it's gonna, I can't see how to open it real. Oh, uh, there we go. So you can see there's some little stones. And I've just got to get in here because look, spider web, something. Now, I spied a couple of things in. I thought, oh my goodness, why haven't they got those to buy on their own, like as a pack? I'm just gonna get a few out and put them in the tray and then show you. So. Get one of the metallic roses out. There's a funny little skull there that I'm a bit obsessed with. Spider. Spider web. What else have we got? Anything else? What's that? <gasps> Owl. What else have we got? Anything? I think that's it for the. Oh no, something there. Right, okay. So the rest of the stuff in there is all those different coloured greeny gems and the, there's a few more green roses in there. But if you look, hopefully you can see this. Oh, that's probably really ridiculous that you put them in a glass dish. That was a silly idea, wasn't it? Let's get something else. Silly girl, try this. Okay. So hopefully you'll be able to see these a bit better now. What's that one? Oh, it's a skull. <laughs> Look at him, he's cool. So, I love these. It's a shame you only get one of each, but it is a really cute little, vin like I say, it's called a vintage mix on there. And it's two different sizes of roses as well. So, let's try and show you these a bit better. So here we go. You see those? So you've got spider, this little owl, which is super cute. Um, this I love. It's like a heart, a dripping heart with some black stones in it. Then there's this little guy. Um, I'm just trying to tip him up so you can see there a lot. Can you see him? 
little skull. He's got a blue stone behind him and then there's a bigger skull there. Now, I would love some of those on their own, but I've never seen those as embellishments on their own to buy at Sheen. Maybe they will at some point, or maybe I've just missed them. Drop me a comment below, let me know if you've seen. I mean, that spiderweb's amazing with the little crystal in the middle of it. Drop me a comment, let me know if you've seen these for sale as in packets of just those items, because if you had those spiderwebs, I'd definitely get them. Those are wood and those are wood, although that is quite a sticky uppy thing and I'm not sure. Actually, if you sit it back, it is flat. So there we go, so we did sit like that. It's sat flat back on the thing now, but it keeps wanting to tip forward. But anyway, I'm waffling on because I'm just so, oh, winner. I'm just mesmerised by this mix. It's so much better than I thought it was going to be. I don't know what I thought it was. I, think, I thought it was just stones, just the different green stones and the roses from what I could see. But um, it's so much nicer with those extra little bits in. I'm going to be really precious about them now because I've only got one of each. <laughs> so I really do hope next time I go on, they are selling those other little bits in um, individual packets. That'll be really nice. So I was going to attempt to clean them up, but it's going to take too long. So let's just pop the lid on that. She says, the lid went to go on. Right, I'll deal with that in a minute. Let's put it out of the way. And I'll clean you guys up in a bit. On with the rest of the embellishments. Oh, they're everywhere. So, like I say, on with the show. What else have we got? Oh, yeah. So, bats. Bats for bats. I have got more bats. I could not resist. So there's these blue and red ones. How cool are those red ones? Look at those. A little 3D blue and red bats. And then the same thing in black. Like jelly crystal bats. So cool. Ten of each in those little packets. Could not resist getting those. I bought some black bats last time, but these are just a different thing. They're like glass. Almost look like glass bats. So those. And then look at these. Ooh. <laughs> I love these. These are brilliant little ghosties. Fabulous. And what else did we get? Anything I want to eat? No. Right. So the last three embellishments I got. I hate to say it. And again, for all of you that don't want to really talk about it yet. I don't want to talk about it yet. But like I say, I've got to face it because I've already had some uh, pre-orders in. <clears throat> Excuse me. So look at these little candy cane embellishments. Aren't they sweet? They're not really good. I'm going to put them on some Grinch nails, I think. And then some really pretty snowflakes with little crystals in the middle. They're going to look nice some Christmas nails and then these cheeky little fellas if I can shake them up and get them to sit right so you guys can see but I'm sure you can Ta -da! <laughs> some Rudolphs they're more like a plastic plastic uh, embellishment like not they look like female or fimo however you say it but they're actually plastic embellishments so they're really cool. So I just bought the three embellishments along with the Christmas stamping plate so I can get some of those pre-orders out the way. And then I think that's it, guys. Other than some... Oh, no, I'm lying. Look, I bought a foil, one foil, which is this one, holographic. And it is a Christmas-themed one. And I say a foil. When I say a foil, I mean a packet because I think there's a few in here. Oh, this is where I always get it stuck. Lock it out every time. Oh, got away with it that time. So there's some different, so there's black and white in here, I think, but they're all, oops, they're all Christmas themed. So they're like, what's that? Black candles, candles, if you can see. I think they're all black, actually. I think it's just because I saw the back of them that look white. So everything from, there's some reindeer. I mean, this is really hard to see, actually, on camera. I've just realised it just looks like loads of holographic, but there are, there you go. You can see there's some patterns on there. So there's reindeers on that one and funny little Christmassy things on that one gosh they're just so hollow they're sparkly sparkly more Christmas oh there's one you can see that one a bit better look snowmen and candy and bows and bells 
Uh, more holly, snowflakes, snowflakes, lots of Christmassy themed black holographic. So looking forward to having a little play with those, hopefully, but you know, like I say, foil is not my forte, but I'm always happy to have a go, have a try. Gotta have a try and keep at it. Try, try, try again. So, foils. And that is really easy. I bought some nail files. Not the most exciting, but look at these. I just couldn't help myself. Three, six, nine. There's 20 in there. Ice cream. <laughs> cheap nail files. Oh, they good. Again, they were really cheap, really worth it. So I thought, oh, I'm having some of those. So I got those and then I got myself for my own use because I think these I might put in some um, goodie bags so when I sell my nails because I'm going to be doing some Christmas fairs um, with some pre-made Christmas sets and I'm going to put those in I think as a little extra gift but these are for me, these are Halloween files, there we go, you can see them there, look, whoop whoop, can't help myself, I don't need any nail files but these are really cheap and they've got Halloween stuff on. So I couldn't help myself. So more nail files. And that, my dears, is that. And that's all she wrote. So nice and short, to the point. So everything I got, like I say, other than the Halloween decks, some extra Halloween decks. I don't need, uh, again, extra Halloween decorations, but I couldn't help it. It was cheap and I'm going to add them to the rest of the stuff that will start going up very soon, let me tell you. I've already got my Halloween wreath on the door. <laughs> so that is that so drop me a comment below let me know what you liked in the haul let me know if you've seen any of it or you've used any of it yourself yet and that is me out i hope you're all well like i say if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and a like drop me a comment subscribe if you're new here and you enjoyed it and i will see you all in the next video thank you so much for watching guys bye